Irrespective of any grade of organization, every organism living exhibits breathing. What is the need for an organism to breathe? Every organism requires oxygen to oxidize its food, gain energy, and fulfill the body's metabolic activities. The main system involved in respiration is the respiratory system. Can any of you define what is respiration? Respiration is the utilization of inhaled oxygen by the cells to break down food, to release energy and carbon dioxide that is exhaled from the body. What are the different types through which respiration is accomplished? In humans, respiration is divided into two parts, called external respiration and internal respiration. The external respiration or breathing consists of inhalation and exhalation with the exchange of gases. Internal respiration or cellular respiration involves the exchange of gases between the blood and cells in the body and further oxidation of food to release energy. To have an idea about the human respiratory system consists of a group of organs and tissues that help us breathe. The respiratory tract is divided into the upper respiratory tract and lower respiratory tract. Can you list out the parts of the respiratory system? The upper respiratory tract is made up of nostrils, nasal chamber, larynx, and pharynx. The lower respiratory tract includes the trachea, bronchioles, bronchi, alveoli, and lungs. Let us understand each part and its function. The first part is the nasal cavity, opened by the external nares, also called nostrils. Guess, why is the inside part of the nose lined by hair? The nasal cavity is lined by fine hair-like cilia, which help filter the air entering the tract. The next part is the pharynx, opened by the internal nares, and the air passes through the pharynx to the windpipe or the trachea. Which part of the respiratory system is referred to as the sound box? A structure called the larynx is present above the trachea, which hosts the vocal cords and helps in the production of sound with the movement of air, and is called the sound box. The trachea, or windpipe, is a 5 inches long tube that runs down the neck and upper chest. It is a wide, hollow tube that connects the larynx to the bronchi, or airways, of the lungs. The most vital function is to enable airflow to and from the lungs. Additionally, the fibroelastic membrane of the larynx expands and contracts during inhalation and exhalation. The next structure is the bronchus, which is divided into two bronchi, each leading into each of the lungs. The bronchi are divided into secondary and tertiary bronchioles, and it further branches out into small air sacs called the alveoli. Prior to knowing about alveoli and the exchange of gases, let us know about lungs. The lungs are a pair of large, spongy organs found in the thorax. Each lung is surrounded by a pleural membrane that provides the lungs with space, called a pleural cavity, which allows expansion. The pleural cavity is filled with pleural fluid, which gives protection to the lungs. The left and right lungs are slightly different in size and shape, due to the heart pointing to the left side of the body. Lungs are the chief centers of respiration in humans and other vertebrates. Each lung has 300 million alveoli present in them. The alveoli are single-celled sacs of air with thin walls. It facilitates the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide molecules into or away from the bloodstream. The respiratory system is enclosed in a thoracic chamber made of ribs on the lateral sides, sternum bone on the frontal side, the vertebral column on the dorsal side, and a diaphragm on the posterior side. The ribs are bones supporting and protecting the chest cavity. The ribs allow small movement and help the lungs to expand and contract. Knowing about the diaphragm is a dome-shaped sheet of muscle located below the lungs that separate the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity. It operates as the major muscle of respiration and plays a major role in breathing. Hence, we have understood breathing, respiration, and parts of the respiratory system.